guys welcome back to being terry thank you so much for tuning in once again it's always so amazing to be here so so today i actually want to talk to you about something really exciting but before that actually as always i will always appreciate my subscribers i love you guys i appreciate you guys you guys are actually the reason why i keep coming back and putting on more videos i keep having to bible study you know it just it, it motivates me so much and i really do appreciate it and everyone who has not subscribed please will you click the red button right below and subscribe and if you think this video was cute and nice and great quality and most of all if you learn something from it please give it a thumbs up and yes i appreciate you so much thank you so today <laughs> So this is a, a kind of old message and the reason is it's about three weeks old and I was supposed to shoot about three weeks ago and I couldn't because for me I felt like okay I cannot just talk about what I have not experienced myself you know I don't want to come here and talk things that I actually don't know myself so honestly speaking this message just put me on a scale you know what I'm saying? It it made me think. It made me want to do more. It made me realize a lot of things in my life myself. So, hence, you know, I took a little bit of time before I put it on record. Because, as I said, I don't want to just preach. I don't want to just share messages. I don't want to stand here and be like, guys, I'm perfect. Guys, I do this and I do that. No. So, the title of the message is Laziness Hides Itself in Fear. So a lot of times, um, even myself, um, a lot of times I saw, I figured that, you know, like when you want to uh, to pursue something and and you, f you sort of feel fearful, but behind an underlying problem of you not getting up and do something is because you're just lazy to do it. You know what I'm saying? So for instance, I can give myself as an example, actually, um, my photography. I love it. It's my passion. I have almost everything in place, but I'm not doing it. Like, I'm not shooting. I'm not finding clients. I am not proposing to people to come to shoots. That's laziness. You know what I'm saying? That's me being lazy to pursue my own goals, to pursue my own vision, to pursue my own um, passion be careful not to be sitting at home thinking that you're fearful to achieve your goals you're fearful to go for a job interview you're fearful to start that business um, that you have in mind or you have in paper but you're thinking it's fear check yourself please because it may actually not be fear it may actually be you being lazy you being lazy to get up and get what you want. You being lazy to get up and and put work to what you want. To put work into your proposals. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, we often use other definitions and other terms to define what, um, why we cannot achieve. And we so seldom and not very often someone can just say, guys, um, I ain't got nothing in my life because I'm lazy to get what I want. You know what I'm saying? So laziness is a poison that the devil uses to set you back in your life. It's a, it's like a, a tool that he uses to put you in one place for many, many years if you're not careful. So here's the thing. Laziness will convince you that it is not the right time for you to pursue your goals. While fear on the other side tells you that you're going to fail anyway. Why are you even trying? You know what I'm saying? So be able to differentiate times in your life where you are truly fearful or times in your life where you are truly lazy. Because as I said, laziness tells you that it's not the best time. It is not the right time. Fear tells you that don't even try it. Don't do it because you're going to fail. Look at that person. They've already failed. Why are you even, who do you think are, you know, type of thing. So the question is, how can you recognize whether you are fearful or you're actually lazy? If you check what you communicate with other people, you'll be able to recognize that, no man, I can do better than just talking fear. I can do better than just um, lazing around and not achieving anything in my life. So that's how you need, that's the first thing. You need to recognize, you need to admit, you need to take that responsibility and accountability. Guys, okay, 
I'm 27 now. I have not done anything with my life. And this is because I'm lazy to pursue it. I'm lazy to get out there. And yeah, I'm actually lazy to ask for help because sometimes we like, oh, I don't know what to do and I don't know where to go. Go, please. Nigga, please. Brother, please. Sister, please. You are lazy to ask for help as well. So check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. Cultivate your faith. God will not give you ideas or visions that will bring disaster in your life. So you're asking, but how do I know this is a God idea? Listen, weigh your ideas and plan against the word of God. That's the only way you'll be able to know whether this plan or this vision or this purpose is in line with God's will for your life. If it does not glorify God, I don't know about that. Ask yourself, will this plan glorify God? Mm -hmm. Will this plan or vision or purpose make you a blessing that God has called you to be? Those are some of the questions to ask yourself. When you plan something, you don't just plan it to, you don't just plan it to be blessed. You know, you're like the prestigious, somebody who was highly favored and highly blessed. You are actually blessed to be a blessing to other people. So your plan must be able to incorporate other people, change people's life positively. But another thing is we often hide in the name of, oh, I'm waiting for God. I'm waiting. Sometimes you like, oh, but um, God has, you know, God must give me this vision and I must be able to see it. You know, I must know where I am. I must know where I'm going. I must see the whole picture. But that's not true because God will give you an indication, but he will not give you a, an explanation or even the destination sometimes. He just guides you to say, hey T, this is where you need to be. Maybe this is where you have to be, you know. He just gives you an indication of what your life is ought to be. And then you have to put in the puzzle. You have to try everything. You have to keep pushing. God will give you just enough for you to start. So that he can create that atmosphere for you to trust, start trusting him to give you more when it's necessary. To give you more when it's time for him to give you more. So don't wait for the time where you have your kinto together. Just trust God now and let him help you through it, through the whole process. Because remember, God is about relationships. So imagine if he says, Terry, this is your life, A, B, C, and D. I will never have to go back to him and ask him questions. I will never have to go, oh God, help me with this. Because he would have gave everything away. But the whole idea is a relationship once again with God. So that's why I'm saying he'll give you an indication today and like, Terry, go for this. And when you go for it and you get stuck, you're like, God, now what do I do from here? What do I do from here? So then we create, already there's a relationship that you're creating through the process of you stepping into your destiny or achieving your goal or whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life. So the thing is, we often talk ourselves out of visions, out of goals, out of things we want to achieve because we want the whole explanation. Drop that attitude, please, and trust in God, and you will see it come to pass, and you will see him taking you through it. So that's the thing. Get rid of fear. Get rid of laziness. Get rid of laziness because God will not do it for you, my brother. God will not do it for you, my sister. You have to do it for yourself, but you have to just go to God to help you through it. And put to action, look, go where you have to go. Do what you have to do and trust God to make it happen. Don't let the voice of fear and laziness take forefront in your life. You should be a person of faith. You should be a person that willing that's willing to wake up and go get what they want because the truth is here in this lifetime nobody will come to you and give you what you want you literally have to get up and go get it you literally have to put some plans in action and wake up and put those things into action because faith without works is dead the only way you can prove that you're a person of faith is through your works that is it. We cannot continue talking about faith. We cannot continue thinking about faith. We cannot continue um, talking about the plan that I have for year 2021, year 2022. We have to be people who wake up and put those things into action and let not 
fear and let not laziness be a major major part of your life don't entertain those type of thoughts because those are the same thoughts that will put you into in the same place year after year after year do not let the voice of fear and laziness dominate your life let faith dominate your life and let your faith be proven by the works you put that is my message for you guys today i hope you learned something because i did as i said i had to go home i had to you know you know i have to put a lot of things into perspective before i say this message to you guys so i really hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in guys next time thank you see you later later <laughs>